Hello, Toyzilla. As always, I am the voice of Toyzilla Live, Mr. Kapow, a.k.a. Michael Pow. And with me, as always, is my co-host, the collectible the collectible man himself, David. Yeah, just don't put me in a box. <laughs> yeah, you're, he's no longer mint in condition right no. now. <laughs> but, pre-owned, uh, pre-owned. We have uh, some very special guests with us tonight. The boys from BB Create, Miguel and Michael. Yep, that's right. Hey, what's up? Hey, guys. Both of your, name, both of your names. Yeah, it's it's going to be easy for me to remember because Miguel is... <laughs> Like Michael in Spanish. Spanish and literally Michael. Michael we can Michael. literally put that bottom part says Miguel and or Michael and then yeah. uh, you know uh, yeah. parentheses wow. in yeah. Spanish. It's, it's the Veed and the Michaels. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we, we just nice. we just started a new band, the Veed and the Michaels. <laughs> I so like it, it. It's gonna be like a I think a barbershop quartet or a doo wop group, you know. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And as always, anybody out there who are watching, you could comment in our uh, chat and we'll try to get to it as soon as possible just make sure it's slightly pg-13 because it is while it is after hours uh we do have rules and regulations mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. and uh tonight we're going to be talking about the convention that we just came back from that uh we're still probably really really tired trying to recover from, from here yeah. yeah right guys very try- tired I decon mean, designer Des- con mm-hmm. yeah which oh yeah i've been since the first one so same it's, here it's same changed here. a lot yeah. yeah before we had toyzilla live oh yeah. yeah so you were at the vinyl toy network that one went the right. vinyl toy network right. uh yeah That's yeah right, same yeah. here that was the first year i was there too that was the first one yeah Oh, a long time, and it was a it was a very small show. It was very focused on people that actually make their own, uh, um, you know, figures. Uh, and now it just is you know, grown changed. in size. It really it moved to have uh, have Pasadena. It's into Anaheim Convention Center, which is a huge, huge place. Uh, I got a question. As yeah. vendors for all, everybody here, as vendors, do you like the Pasadena Convention Center better or the Anaheim Convention Center better? Hmm. Uh, personally speaking, um, I like both. The reason I like the Pasadena one is because we live in Pasadena, so it's like down the road from us. Um, I like that too. <laughs> and and I do like the fact that it was a little bit more intimate. Um, I do like the Anaheim one because there's a lot of room to grow. I mean, like there's so much square footage. There's so many artists to see. Um, and I think it could only get better and better every year just because if they were able to do that with Pasadena where they were to outgrow the whole thing, I'm pretty sure they, they could do that with uh, with Anaheim as well. Yeah. With Anaheim, they this year they opened up like pretty much all the halls, huh? Yeah, they used the whole thing. Yeah. I, I with Pasadena, they were kind of expanding as much as they could, oh, and yeah. it just wasn't enough. Um, and with, I mean, with this show, there are much bigger installations they couldn't do in Pasadena. Um, it, it's just huge. They have like multi multiple stages throughout. Uh, they can do like big panels. They basically could have concerts in there. Um, they have. Uh, if you want to th- start throwing up some of your photos, actually, well, like, really um, quick, I want to say this. One of the things I really see. like about the DesignerCon panels is they do something similar mm. to Nerbot, the Nerbot conventions, where it's not in a separate room. It's literally yeah. right there in the convention center, so you don't have to leave and you know get lost trying to find you know where the hell the you know the room you're supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we got some images up there. Uh, Producer Mello, do you have one of my images up there? You throw one up. They they even have a a play pit for the kids. Yeah, there's a ball pit they have this year. Um, A designer ball pit. Yeah, that's one of the images right there. Oh, it's your booth. It's your booth right up there. I got you. Right there. Right there. You got it. Yeah. Right, right up top middle. (laughs) Yeah, with the top middle where people were playing some uh, Street Fighter Two. Yeah. Yeah, we had some uh, two arcades there. So super cool. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Super cool. Yeah, they had a bunch of um, designer brands there, like Bait and um, what were some other ones? Uh, shoes, shoes were very big this shoes, year. Yeah, shoes, yeah, uh, well, shoes. been big. But they've the been big for years, a while, right? but uh, but it seemed even bigger this year. Like, they're really pushing shoes as art, you know, this year. and Well, this year, it's everywhere. like Nike, Adidas, and let's see, Vans, and... K-Swiss. K-Swiss. Mm-hmm. They've all been releasing really cool, like, geek sh- kicks. Like Star Wars, like, I have not seen this this many Star Wars sneakers in a really really long time, right? Right, yeah, that's right. No, that's true. Yeah, like I I think what was it? I wouldn't be surprised in a couple of like in a month or so we're gonna get Baby Yoda sneakers. 
<laughs> we need those. Of inevitability. It's yeah. Gonna happen. It's going to happen. Yeah. Are, are you guys going to rock the Baby Yoda sneakers? I mean, I would if they look good. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I will die for Baby Yoda. I will take everybody out in this room. <laughs> and, yeah, and I will die for Baby Yoda. About Baby Yoda, yeah. Yeah, it's all it's about a, Baby Yoda. It's a know. close relationship yeah. there. Screw the porgs. It's all about Baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, no, if, uh, Milo, if you have any of my photos, like uh, DesignerCon 5, 6, 7, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what I saw that was different this year. Um, but it was, it was all... Most part positive. I mean, it really was. I'm, I'm glad. Um, and, and you had people walking around the show, like Jack Black, yeah. who was not there to promote anything, just hanging out, trying to, you know, shop. Yeah, he was shopping and buying stuff. Yeah. Like, Well, it's also pretty much the holiday season, holiday rush, so I'm pretty mm. sure he's buying uh, Christmas gifts for you know, his people. Yeah, I, I think the, the, the star power is bigger this year. Oh, there you go. Yeah, there's a lot of oh, yeah. more did, Michaels. Did you guys oh, yeah. check, uh, catch um, Kevin Durant as well? Oh, Kevin no. Durant was walking around as well. Oh, he was walking around? Yeah. yeah. It oh, was like, really yeah. quick. Um, Could have him. Throw up that image back up really quick. If you see, if you see in the corner there. Let's see. It's a great collage. Yeah, in the corner there. Dude, they already got like, fan, like art for yeah. The Mandalorian. Yeah. Seriously, that's a, what, a week or two turnaround. That's that's hella quick. Oh, these artists are hella on quick. top of it. Yeah, uh, I mean, so prolific, so fast, so you know, cutting edge. It's just amazing. And, and there's all you know levels of art artists here. I mean, it's the ones are just starting out, which thank mm -hmm. thankfully are not squeezed out. That's what I was yeah. worried about. I felt designer con was squeezing out the smaller guys because the prices of the booth kept going up. Um, and so it's just not like the artist alley it used to be. It's more like the huge. Multi-million yeah, companies more like com Medicom. Competition now, though. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like seriously, one of the things that I highly, highly recommend if you go to Designer Con next year is bring money. Like, seriously, bring <laughs> lots money. of yeah. money. Bring lots of money. Lots I didn't cash. bring enough, and that made me <laughs> sad. <laughs> well, there's never enough money. That's, no, that's, that's the that's thing. True. I I did very good by not spending too much this year. I spent more than I'm sure. You still than spent most more than me. People, you still spent more than me. Oh, I definitely did that. Yeah. yeah. I think no, as I, vendors, we spend a lot, too, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we spend a lot. Yeah, yeah, you spend a lot of your booth. Jeez. It's like 900 you know, bucks, yeah, on other you know. People, actually, on other people's stuff. Like, we get other so inspired, stuff, yeah. you know. Like, yeah. we're walking around. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get anything. And show, all of a sudden, it's yeah. just like, come back with like two or three bags. Yeah. That's oh, what yeah. happens. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to show off some stuff that I got really quick. One of which is I got a full set of... Mm. They're all in little baggies, but it's a full set of... Dungeons and Dragons dice pins. Oh, like I got C twenties, D eight, D twelves, D sixes. Even got the D fours in there. It's like full set and from uh, cool. yesterday's pins. It came with. Oh, I'll get it later. You don't it have came, to roll the yeah. mouth though. It came with no. It came with a <laughs> little pouch and everything. Also got. Because I know David's a real big fan of this as well. I got myself a oh, Robotech yeah. pin. Those are those awesome. Are, those are rad. Yeah. That same company is making a little yeah. uh, from uh, Icon too. Heroes. Icon, Icon Heroes. Heroes. Yeah, they're, they're doing yeah. figures. They're not going to be mm -hmm. out till next year, yeah. but uh, we're going to try to get those in the store too. The Icon Heroes. It looks great. It's like, and yeah. I'm a, most people who know me know that I'm a huge D and D nerd. So I found a booth. They were selling these really cool little spell book uh, holders. You could put the cards that uh, you could buy off of uh, Amazon and everything. Oh, those are dope. Here. It's like oh, a little nice. wallet holder, so, but for your spells. Those mm. are cool. So That's pretty awesome. Got that. And one more thing really quick. From 1980 80. Who <laughs> is I got a set of inspiration tokens. These are like, I think, brass or copper, like actual metal tokens for your games. Like 15 bucks. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and um, Producer Mello, one of the things that I really love that I bought was, can you put up the Akira image? Like, I'm bragging. I'm bragging. I, I showed these guys. I showed you oh, guys. Yeah. 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 I've never seen yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. that. Yeah, it's like a fanny pack, but like see-through like plastic. You bought it? Uh, yeah, I bought it. It's How the, much? It was only 25 bucks. Oh. It's, it's the pill uh, Wait, image. From the bag? From, yeah. The bag. The pill what? image of the, from the, uh, what's the character's uh, jacket. Yeah, twenty five bucks. You could, if you want to get it for yourself uh, in time for the holidays, it's from a designer called was it Captain, it was Captain Senpai. Senpai? Captain Senpai. Captain's written in like a shorthand version of Captain. But yeah. Nice. Yeah, cool that that nice. caught my eye also. I yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Uh, if you go to my uh, Facebook fan page, you'll see how it's spelled in the post that I made up there. Yeah. 
Cool. Another great thing about DesignerCon is meeting all of these like designer celebrities. Now, you might not even know what these guys look like, you know, like walking around, but you know their work. Like their characters are endearing for all time. Yeah. So if 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 Mel, if you can find the uh, designer con uh, Croft, I got to meet uh, Marty McCro Mar Marty Croft, who created uh, Sigmund the Sea Monster, HR Puff, and stuff. All these like very very classic uh, '70s uh, uh, shows uh, that were groundbreaking for the time. Uh, oh yeah, there he is. Uh, and and HR Puff and stuff. So he Land was Lost. signing, yeah, Land of Lost, all that good stuff. Um, just paved the way for everything, and I, I got to uh, meet him, get a couple key things in my collection signed, some Funko Pops, some action figures. Um, it was amazing. So this was over at the Toy Tokyo booth. Uh, Toy Tokyo did a great job this year. They have two booths set up at the two ends of the convention center, mm -hmm. um, and they, they this was a smaller, more intimate booth, um, and they had a lot of different designers coming by. But th this was kind of a highlight for me, meeting him. That's really awesome. Yeah. Um, Michael Miguel, I know that you got to walk around the convention just a little bit during your, you know, your breaks and stuff. So you weren't at the booth the entire time. What were some highlights of the convention for you guys that you saw? Well, uh, Mikey, go for it. Well, for one of the things, uh, one of my uh, favorite people I usually want to see is uh, Danny Chu. Oh. Uh, I was oh, surprised yeah. that he actually was able to come out this time around. For those who don't know who, who Danny Chu is, uh, Danny Chu, he, he is one that's really like a uh, he's he's a one, he, he lives in Japan. He likes to bring the culture around, and really likes to do like all all the networking and everything like that. Yeah. And one of the things he usually always likes to uh, promote is uh, what he has like a uh, what he calls a smart dolls. Oh. Which is actually like dolls that are about maybe about so high. Mm -hmm. Maybe about about a foot high. Oh yeah, high. I saw I saw those. I saw those. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really cool. And then I already have like a few in my collection. Nice. I added up my um, nice. added one more to my collection with nice. that one. So. In terms of like what you said, like we go around purchasing something. I didn't really buy a lot. Mm -hmm. I bought one thing, and now that cost thirty <laughs> quite a bit. How much so, was that? Uh, the one I've got it was uh, six hundred. So. So it's a, yeah, it's a pretty, premium pretty, item. Pretty hefty, yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty hefty price. Now, the, these figures go for sometimes thousands yep. of dollars, and um, uh, especially when they're resold. Uh, one, uh, you remind me. Uh, also, there's uh, Paul Kaiju who has uh, some. One-offs, which means they only made one of these, um, and they're they're pretty rare and hard to get, and they usually raffle them. So um, let me see. I don't, actually I don't have the photo for him, but uh, but yeah, if you look at uh, uh, let's see, D DesignerCon 02 photo, uh, that's another pretty famous artist who um, it, oh, ha always goes to DesignerCon, and these guys have lines that that wrap <laughs> around. And I, you know, sometimes they go down Kinda by like my like the booth. Funko booth. Like the Funko booth. Yeah. Yeah. So I, Funko was actually not at the show this year. Yeah, I was surprised. Uh, which was interesting. Was but in, in place of that, they had an exclusive pop that was only uh, sold at yeah, this the Mark, convention. The Mark Hamill Mark pop. Hamill. Yeah. And Mark Hamill also had... Buy, um, I was tempted to buy that. I bought as many as I could. Not, not of multiples. I mean, I bought one of each. But uh, there was a purple one, which we could not buy because it was VIP. And we didn't... Spend the two hundred dollars. Uh, that was a new thing they added this year. It was like you, you go VIP, you get in a day early in Friday night, and then you get in an hour early. I think in mm -hmm. the show every day. Um, and as exhibitor, I'm like, uh, you know, I, I don't have time for any of this anyway. I'm already in the convention center yeah. more than I want to be because I'm, I'm I'm getting up very very early every day, getting back really oh. late, repacking the van. Miguel and Michael <laughs> probably knows um, this very very well, right? It's hard, right? Yeah, or, it's very hard. Yeah, mm. it's it's not easy being exhibitor at these shows. No, it's because uh, we challenge. have a whole set up. Like we bring walls, we bring decor, we bring our arcade booths. Yep. So it's this whole thing that it's just me and Mike that just set up everything, <laughs> from like top to bottom. You know, we try to make sure everything's in place the way it's supposed to be displayed. Yeah, but yeah it takes seriously, us a long time to do. Yeah, the BB8 Create booth. It's one of the most like eye-catching and awesome-looking oh, booths. Thank you, that, man. Thank you. That means a lot. Do we, do we have yeah. photos of it? Um, or maybe we can't. Well, the image in. that I had uh, was the, well, the big yeah, I mean, like, I think if you, yeah. just, if yeah. you go straight to, like, our, our Instagram page, at BB Create, mm -hmm. I mean, it's one of the f uh, top images where you could see all what we did, you know, what we painted and what we, what we brought and how we showcased mm -hmm. everything. We really wanted to hit home a mm -hmm. 1980s vibe, 19, early yeah. 1990s vibe uh, for our booth. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm going to jump in the chat really quick. Uh, Tony says, hi, guys. Hey, what's up, Tony? Longtime viewer. What's up, Tony? Uh, we also got uh, Jonathan Curtis saying that uh, Miguel <laughs> and uh, Mike looking looking fly. Looking fly. Thanks, John. Uh, uh, let's see. We got Chris, uh, Christopher Gardner saying cool. Oh, Tony says that his mom would love that Hello Kitty got right there. Yeah, this and, one's uh, adorable. Miguel saying hello as well, and uh, so is Johnny Hernandez. What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Mm -hmm. Cool. Hey, thanks for joining us. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, um, I see that you guys actually brought, a, like, speaking of your booth, you guys brought yeah. a lot oh, of yeah. stuff that you had at your booth. Yeah, we do. We yeah. brought a lot. I yeah. think uh, we Even then, there's a small sampling of what they actually have in yeah. their catalog. I think uh, overall, we've done over 400-something uh, designs. Oh, wow. Um, Whoa. Wow. Yep. Yeah, we, wow. We, we, we turn them out really quick, um, and then... We usually do like one and dones, uh, meaning like you got just the go baby Yoda pin. Thing. You guys already got the no, baby Yoda pin. No, no baby Yoda pin. <laughs> no, nah, man. You should see how, much, how many people have done the baby Yoda pin. It's uh, oh. it's already oversaturated. No, no, I, I've seen. I've it's seen. It's ridiculous. So, you yeah. know, if we did one, we'd do an anti Yoda baby uh, pin. Anti is, baby Yoda? It'll be a baby Yoda pin with a middle finger on it, you know, coming out, you know. Well, let's, uh, let's, let's uh, show <laughs> our viewers some of your pins that you have here. Yeah, so some of the pins that we showcase. So, Mike, uh, I'll give you some that you want to talk about. All right. Um, this is a showcase. Well, I'll, I'll probably feature some of the ones that like I kind of that's close to me because I like really like anime. Yep. So I did Same a few. Here. I did a few that were like pretty much anime inspired. So I have a few here. Shin Chan. That, that kind of goes back to some of the classic ones. We have yeah, some. Hold it like up a, to the. So we have the Domo yep. Chewy over yep. here. Yep. We have a do Domo mixed, mixed up with uh, Chewbacca. Yeah, Chewbacca. Right that's here. a great match. We also have one. We have Lando mixed up with Crayon Shin Chan. Yep. And this one of the favorite ones is Doraemon. Uh, yeah, Doraemon. Yeah. It's uh, Poe Dameron. Yep. So Poe Doraemon <laughs> here. And then we, we also here. did an Astro Bo Boba Fett, but that one sold out at the show. Mm. Yep. Um, some some other ones. Um, let me see here. Another one I'm more popular about. This one's not necessarily a Star Wars mashup. This is one yeah, of the very popular hits. What we do is we like to create not only just Star Wars mashups, but, you know, like Mike was talking about, mm. anime is one of our biggest thing. Kaiju stuff, like mm. Godzilla. We love doing that kind of stuff. But this is the I Am Here pin. So this is basically Deku. And it just Deku. slides right on open. So if you do that. Oh, slide. we got uh, oh, we got yes. Stephanie, uh, Nerdbot Girl Stephanie saying, oh, my God, my favorite, BB Create. Oh, Stephanie, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we also have, like, for example, the kaiju stuff here. This is Ooh. when the King of the Monsters came out. This is a yeah, set that we did. Awesome. Oh, nice. These actually nice. glow yep. all in the dark. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Really cool. One of those things. Mm -hmm. uh, and the only way to get King Ghidorah is by buying the whole complete set here. Oh, wow. Um, another couple ones, some of my favorites. Uh, the ones that were exclusive for the show were the Sub Zero with the little chain, um, has a dangly chain as a spine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one there. Um, and then also our Scorpion Fatality pin here, and that nice. actually slides. So Ooh. I'll give you an example how it slides. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, that's awesome. That is Slides awesome. back and forth, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for those who want to see clear images of it, just go to the BB Create uh, Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So um, other things that we have too are like our Nintendo inspired ones too that actually pop up and down. Yeah, I need I need to get that Star Wars one from you guys. Oh yeah, we have the. So Mike's gonna show you how it works. Oh. So it just slides pop, pops up a little bit, yeah. and then it slides back down a little bit more. Yeah, there you go. So that's, that one that, there. That's my childhood NES, right there. Yeah. <laughs> childhood. NES cartridges. Yeah. Cases, yeah. But going back to our, our Star Wars roots, it's like, for example, we love hip-hop. We love Wu-Tang. So we did a Wu-Tang. Wu Wu-Tang. Uh, this was in collaboration with our buddy uh, Jad Dovey, but um, this one was just something that we always wanted to do there. And then we also did um, Cancel Bite Poker Chips. That's another one I want to get from that you guys. That one right here. This is a, 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 um, a show that we did out in Vegas, and we decided just to... Just make a modern, yeah. um, contemporary, uh, putting in a lot of the uh, uh, Vegas feel with, uh, with yeah, Cancel yeah. Bite in there. Super cool. Yeah, and then uh, a couple more ones, too. Go for yep. it, Mike. All right, so another one we've got to play feature is we also mashed up some of the um, Star Wars yeah, with the bit. Avengers. Ooh, nice. So then we yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, had the whole... First, your first run, basically, was, was kind of circulated around uh, BB-8. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. That's right. We do a lot of BB-8 so, mashups, but we decided to... Um, just go with the whole original uh, Avengers, the the ones from the movie, with a uh, little chaser special edition of the Big Lebowski, uh, a Thor, or you know, Fat Thor, or whatever <laughs> they want to call them. But uh, here, these these are all the um, Marvel ones. Ooh. There, here, and then here's the other one. Here's with the uh, Stormbreaker. Nice. That one right nice, there. Nice. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so another one I probably want to feature is we usually do another show down in Disneyland. It's called Dapper Day. Yep. It's called Dapper Day Expo. And we usually do, like, themed pins as well for those. So for, for this uh, past fall, we did have uh, we did one of a theme of Peter Pan. Oh, so nice. then we have a few of those there. And then Disney coincident- Bounders out there. Yep. So then, coincidentally, the theme they had for the Dapper Day Expo happened to be oh, yeah, Peter you got, Pan. You, yeah, some of it, if it's you green, green, it's going to be uh, see-through. <laughs> yep. oh, yeah, oh, that's true. Sorry. <laughs> that's supposed to be Tink and Peter, so... They're see-through. Yeah, they're see-through. Sorry about that. And then this is Rufio, a uh, little another nice. chaser variant there. Yep. there. Mm-hmm. We also have... What else over here? Let me, let me get over here. To okay, yeah, let's go to yeah, the, let's, uh, let's the go, other let's go apparel. Let's go with this real quick. Oh, okay, sure. this real quick. I know, no. Mike, I know Michael loves this one yeah. here. I, I own two of these uh, from these collections. So, Mike, I, you can go ahead and explain. Yeah. All right, so what we've pretty much been doing for a, long, uh, for a bit was actually we have the, lights, uh, the Star Wars lightsabers, mm-hmm. and what we've been doing is putting them into bouquets. So mm-hmm. what we've had done is like we had specific uh, flowers for each one, and it always, always corresponds with the lightsaber. So in, re- in regards to that one, we have, that one is uh, the, the tulips. <laughs> Yeah, so that one is uh, Luke Skywalker's. We have blue tulips on there. Mm-hmm. Um, that one is uh, Darth, Vader. Darth Vader's. We have rose, red roses, and then and then down there we have uh, Obi Wan's. It has blue uh, blue stars, and then on that one is Emperor Palpatine's. It has epidendrums. Nice. And then we've been Ooh. doing that with like a series. Yeah. So I think we're trying to run down with yeah, all the lightsabers. I have the, the like green Luke sh- the green Luke uh, saber, and also I have the the Boba Fett. Blaster. Oh, oh yeah, 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 that was yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. So oh, we yeah, oh, really quick. Sure. We'll go jump in ch- chat because this is a good segue. Yeah. Uh, see, Bruce Rollins said, "Just saw the Dark Side Connection shirt. So funny." Oh, thank and you. <laughs> yeah, a couple, a couple of T-shirts that we do have. So you were yeah, mentioning uh, uh, Boba Fett here. We did a uh, Fila Fett crossover for DesignerCon. So for DesignerCon, what we wanted to do was create uh, almost like a time capsule of 1988 to 1992 brands that were really popular during that time. Fila was one of them, so yep. we decided to mash up Fila. I remember and as a together. kid, I had uh, some Fila stuff. So we did that right here. Sneakers. Oh, nice. And we did it in a white colorway as well. So it was a navy and then a white over here. I like the I like the navy. I like yeah, the navy so best. do I. Yeah, I like the navy best. You know, the there's white a, does. You know, there's a white it does one right remind there. me of the old school Fila. And then also with uh, Ralph Lauren, he always had his uh, polo bear. And mm-hmm. for the for the story behind the polo bear is Ralph, Ralph Lauren, any collections that he did that uh, year, or that's like, for example, spring or winter, he would dress up the polar bear in that exact, like, uh, in the garments that he was releasing. So mm. we decided to do a polo solo bear. So the first <laughs> one is in navy as well. So we have that there. Mm-hmm. And we did also in heather gray. This one, I like the heather gray best. Yeah, mm. so yeah. the heather gray right there. And then we also have a 19, uh, let's see, a 1980s inspired T-shirt, the Unlimited Power T-shirt. So we all know that Palpatine. Oh, mm-hmm. oh yeah. So we did oh, a little Palpatine. retro. Here's green right yep. here. So don't worry about that one. These are supposed to be Tie Fighters. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, everything else is uh, right there. Uh, just a whole 1980s, uh, you know, neo wave type of uh, design. Very cool. Another thing that we also did was the uh, Champion. Clone Wars. So this is actually on real champion uh, sweater. Oh, wow. So, yeah, so, you know, we, we try to make it really as authentic as possible right there with the champion logo. And it says Clone Wars instead. So, yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. That I dig did. that. I dig that. Yeah, that's the one that Mike has on right now. Uh, I have that. the Unlimited Power one on. Uh, and then finally, uh, what we this did This is one of my favorites. Is almost like a, to mimic a starter jacket. Like, I've yeah. always wanted a starter jacket when I was a kid, and I was too broke to get one. So the best, best thing to do is uh, you create make a bootleg, yeah, just make you one. know, 30 years later. <laughs> so uh, we did an L.A. one. So this is a chenille patch oh, that was actually nice. hand-sewn on. Uh, nice. Everything is made of satin. It's I really delicate. I want one delicate. of those. I want uh, one. Yeah, I mean, it's one of our favorite things that we've done, but it's an L.A. Sabre. So the, the, and our logo in the back as well. Nice. Uh, but, yeah, it's one of those varsity jackets, and it's, it was something that I know Mike and I, always dreamed of doing and we finally got to make yeah. these items and uh last but not least we have this one and this one's uh favorite and i think uh oh, stephanie, that one. stephanie uh, probably she has one yes, uh has this one. one is uh, your breathtaking one so it's keanu and we did a t-shirt of it we brought it back for designer con uh because it's so popular yeah um and that one you know um it's always popular. Yeah. yeah, we have a lot it's of Keanu items Reeves. That we did. Yeah, Keanu Reeves. Yeah. You can't go wrong. Can't, yeah, can't go wrong. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but all these items are going to be available uh, during our Black Friday sale, which will begin on Thanksgiving Day. So we're going to drop all our DesignerCon stuff along with um, 
a bunch. Of, we're gonna have a huge sale, like up to eighty nice, percent off. Nice, like nice. we're gonna have deep discounts, uh, and then we're gonna release our decon exclusives as well. So yeah, Very I mean, cool. like everything's gonna be on sale uh, for the most part. Oh, we got uh, J. Michael Tutman saying that that white fila fet though. Oh, thank you, man. Mm. Appreciate that. And Bruce is uh, agreeing with him. All right. Thank you, Bruce. <laughs> nice, nice. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so cool. Wh where do you guys get your inspiration for this? Yeah. I mean, oh my goodness. Um, you know, like I've been blessed to be working with Mike. Mike. I've known Mike since high school. We met him back in like 1995. Um, we're freshmen, uh, and he's been my friend since then. And we lost a little bit of a contact, but. When we got back together, you know, we, we still like the same things, you know, and I enjoyed myself just looking at things and how they could blend with Star Wars stuff or yeah. just in anything in general, just to kind of manipulate it in, in a way where it, it becomes contemporary, it becomes kind of hip, but it's still familiar. Yeah, and, familiar. and all of, of all places we met up at a coffee bee. Yeah, at a coffee bee, <laughs> yeah. and we still go there. For dude, that sounds like dude, that sounds like a tender date. Yeah, it, it, it was. <laughs> I don't <sorry>. know about <laughs> that. <laughs> but no, at the you know we still go there every week. Uh, every Thursdays we actually do design and drawing, and we 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 treat this now almost as a business, but we still have fun with it at the end of the day. You know, like That's we're always, gotta do it. That's we're always, gotta we're do always it. thinking three months, six months down the line, what we're gonna be doing, but. We find inspiration anywhere. We are always watching anything that's, you know, that's, that's new, new, that's hip, new hot or thing. old. You know, I'm always watching old stuff. Yeah. I mean, the whole hip hop stuff. I was watching uh, Everybody Hates Chris. Mm -hmm. I think they were talking, and uh, it was an old episode. And, they, and that was uh, mainly at the end of the eight. Uh, I think it was uh, built around the late '70s, early '80s stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just started going from there, and and just got inspired because I, I saw someone wearing a fila, something with fila, and yeah. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. And just got that idea from there, and I talked to Mike about it. Mike's like, "Sure, let's try to do that." And we built it off there, so you know, it's just and like you could find it anywhere. And yeah, I see you also brought some accessories as well. Yeah, we do. So we not only do we do like t-shirts and 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 socks, and I'm sorry, t-shirts and uh, and jackets, but we've also done ties. So these are actually perfect for Dapper Day. All handmade. If you look nice. closer, these are actually not just polka dots. These are Death Stars. Death Stars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a little bit subtle, but it's clean. very <laughs> subtle. So hey, it's, actually, it's perfect for for the red carpet of the next Star Wars Rise of Skywalker premiere. That is true, Perfect. actually. Um, and, uh, you know, Mike, he was able to design the, the fabric, and the fabric was sh shipped, and we hand make them all. Nice. So this is not mm. just, like, something where we have someone else make it. We actually have the fabric made, and we hand sew everything. Oh, cool. And this one is our... Uh, the, the, we call that one the Darth Roses. That's the... Um, what's that pin? What's well, the one, one of the pins we showed earlier? We decided to put that one on a, uh, a tie. Mm. So. Yeah. Made like lightsaber stripes, so it makes it a little bit again more elegant. So you could wear it anywhere to the office or to date or or whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Or and the red carpet of a red, certain or movie. Or the red premiere. carpet of a certain movie, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, we, uh, we got Bruce uh, saying that he's looking forward to the sale. I found something for all his kids. Oh, great! Oh, great. Thank <laughs> you, thank you, Bruce. And then we also had some socks. So this is called the Galactic Battle Scene. So we made a, a minimalist uh, type of uh, sock with, uh, you know. Um, X-Wings, yeah, yeah. X-Wings, TIE Fighters, uh, the Death Stars, and just repeated the yeah, pattern. It kind of reminds me of that old, the old uh, Atari Star Wars game. Oh, yeah. That's there. right, yeah. yeah. Um, and Mike, you want to go ahead and describe <coughs> this one? All right, so this one is just a simple design. You know, with those are the green. green. Yeah. Um, it's just, the, it's just simple, simple lightsabers sabers on there shown with the different variances. Uh, you didn't notice that you could see, like, there's a purple lightsaber mm -hmm. mixed in with that. And just like the double dual lightsabers in there, so that's really a nice accessory. Very cool. And then last but not least is our. Uh, of course, got to get a BBA in love there. from J Jack Who uh, sock that we did here. Oh, nice. So this that is looks a, like a, something from Wes Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, basically it's just the desert scene of Jack Who around. It, it doesn't have BB-8 on the other mm -hmm. side, but we just made it. Um, a BB-8 just sits nicely. If you wear high tops, which yeah. I always wear high tops. Yeah. It peaks through really nicely if you nice. cuff up your uh, nice. of your, your pants. Um, Very cool. But yeah, those are some of the things that we've actually done. But we, we get to do this, you know, on the regular, and we have so much fun, you know, creating. Do you these guys uh, have any designs that uh, you're planning on premiering soon that you can kind of give us a little hint at, maybe? Yeah, um, I think we can. We have like a, a couple Christmas stuff that we're doing, um, like Christmas sweaters, uh, but as pin forms. Um, Another one that we can well, be talking we about. We couldn't really stay away from doing something related to the Mandalorian. Of course, so we're of course. Forward to something with that. Yeah, so you expect you a lot of cool Mandalorian yeah. stuff uh, that we've been uh, developing. Um, some things that we're trying to mash up to is uh, the Knights of Ren, but with Ren from Ren and Stimpy. 
So it'll be a lot of uh, cool things with that. And um, I want to see the Mandalorian's rifle in the style with the one of your flower oh. pins. I want to see that. Yeah, that's actually, but that would be hey, one of the ones that we're actually doing. Hey. Actually. I so, guessed it right. Yeah, that's a, that's a little one. So yeah, and then uh, from that, we're not. We're also going to be branching out to do. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stuff, oh, nice. oh, Robotech yeah. stuff, which nice. is awesome that you had mentioned oh, yeah. that. Um, other ones too, Legend of Zelda, and not just mashups in general, oh, just like straight one, up right? ones. Yeah, like a little Wind Waker set here, but this one's an older one that came in three. So we called it the Wind Walkers, just because, oh. There's, there's Link, green on it. There's Link, green on it. Link, we, have, we have too many green things. Yeah, Link Swoop is, glows in the dark. That was oh, that's cool, though. That's cool. Is. That's cool. But yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're always, you know, continuing to do cool things, and we're going to go into do more anime stuff as well. And Very cool. Very mm -hmm. cool. So real quick, um, what's the next convention are you guys going to be at? Level Up. Level in, Up? Um, in February, uh, out in uh, Vegas. So I think it's in, in um, February. Yeah, that's uh, that's the the next one that we do. It's a gaming convention. Cool. I believe it's the twenty twenty second to the twenty fourth. I want to say okay. that uh, that's there, and then from there it'll be WonderCon. Con? Uh, we're, we're always at WonderCon, and we'll be posted with our with our buddies from Punjachui Press. We always get a ten by twenty, oh, very awesome. and just mm. go all out and make it really very cool, awesome. you know. Very awesome. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so um, I'm actually curious. Uh, Ma Michael here told us something he bought at DesignerCon. I'm wondering if you bought anything at DesignerCon. Oh, yeah. Um, let's see. I bought a couple, mainly more of uh, clothing stuff. So uh, Johnny Cupcake stuff. I oh. was a able to pick up a hoodie, uh, all the all the exclusive that he did. So he did the hoodies with uh, the Mickey hands on them. Mm -hmm. He uh, released a, a Darth Maul cupcake one. And mm -hmm. the crossbones are the are the uh, dual lightsabers. Oh, that awesome. was really, really That's rad. Tight. That's tight. And then he did a deconstructed. So one half is a, is a fat kid is usually mm -hmm. his, uh, his mascot. And then the other side is like a D, like... Deconstructed one, so you can see his brains and the intestine and the skeleton system. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's, it's so the, pretty much that's the money that you made at DesignCon went to all that stuff. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I try to be really good, but you know, I bought I bought a couple toys here and there. Um, you know, walked away with the you know the Mark Hamill figure, yeah. the pops, and things like that. But um, yeah, those those are the items I I try to you know I, I picked up at, yeah. at DesignCon. Like, like I said before, one of the things I love about DesignCon is you could get unique gifts because it's so close to the holidays that's yep. where you get your unique gifts i actually was able to get um i told you guys about it i'm not say what it was because the person might be watching the show but i i finally found the present i was going to give my secret santa oh that's good yeah, yeah. i know that's that's what i hear a lot of people like love shopping over there you me. you find things at designer con that you can't find anywhere else mm -hmm. uh especially things that are not officially licensed yeah. which is interesting uh, I found something I didn't buy but I got a really good picture of um, Mel if you throw up uh, I've got Decon um, 04 image uh, you find bootlegs that were made uh, in Mexico and other other countries uh, that you never knew existed and, I mean and this bootlegs is like are vintage huge stuff. at designer con it's like, like Suck Lord yeah, Suckler. Yeah, yeah that, do, look at that. That's a Mazinger yeah. Z from Mexico. Huge size. Fires a fist. Oh uh, I mean, it looks kind of ridiculous, but um, it's it's kind of awesome. That's the kind of things you find at, at Designer Yeah, Con. How big was that? Oh, well, it was, it was about this big. It was like maybe about two, three feet. Oh, okay. About the size of a statue. Yeah, it, it was a jumbo machiner, but yeah. uh, a bootleg one. Yeah. And uh, let's see, some other really cool things. Uh, we found, oh, well, okay, let's just talk about Medicom for a second, because DesignerCon, um, oh, let's see, yeah, I think it's 05, 06, and 07, the photos I have. Uh, this booth is the biggest thing in DesignerCon now, and they kind of represent all these different artists, uh, through, I, I guess, throughout the world, from uh, Japan, uh, the United States, and they have these big signings, and I, I think they probably do have the biggest figures that are for sale. Um, because uh, the uh, bear bricks. Are you familiar with those? Yeah. They, they've been around yeah. a long time. And it, they have and like a museum. Yep. Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and they are. I mean, I, I just I photographed my daughter with them because they're about as big as she is. <laughs> and you see people walk around the show with these huge boxes, and they're six hundred dollars each. That's Ooh. yeah. Basically, what what they run it, and I was like, one. Day, I mean, it feels one like a of these days when I have re real disposable yeah. income. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, th these things are massively huge, but um, yeah, until then, I'll just I'll, I'll just stick to my uh, pins. <laughs> yeah. Well, if, if you don't find the picture, it's okay. But we'll, we'll just imagine it. 
Um, I think it's 05, 06, and 07. I think there's... Uh, the one with his kid with the, b- like, the bear toy. Yeah, they're the bear bricks that are huge. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then there's a whole row of them. I mean, it's a gorgeous exhibit. And yeah. day one... Uh, yeah, it is the size uh, of yeah. Nova. This is the size of Nova. Yeah, just about. There's another photo that shows more of them. Yeah, and and it's just, you know, the first day we could not get in there because we were not VIP. Yeah. And then you go back, and the thing is, a lot of these are sold out. Yeah. And I'm like, who has the money? I mean, obviously, uh, Jack very, Black was around Very, very rich but. people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, who? People with a lot of disposable income. It's amazing. Income. It just blows me away. Um and then, um, oh yeah, okay. Then, like I mentioned, uh, Paul Kaiju. If if there's, um, if you have that uh, decon, uh, Paul Kaiju photo. Like I said before, it's a called. lot of these uh, also, designers amazing. and makers. They're fans of the stuff they, they make. No. Yeah, they're huge fans. Yeah, no, it, it's it's pretty amazing. Um, but uh, you know, Funko is there uh, basically uh, for the the low level collector that can afford ten bucks. Uh, Dude, but those, then those Mark Hamill pops were not cheap. No, they were not. They were not cheap. They were not like regular Funko Pop prices. <laughs> no, they they were. They started out high, and then I, I checked what they were selling for, and they went up on eBay. And then, as all Funko Pops do, then they drop back down mm-hmm. to less mm-hmm. than what they cost to buy. Oh, yeah. But you know that that's pretty typical. So it's it's like the stock market. You have Funko a photo Pops of that Mark Hamill art exhibit, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, I got an image of they, they had a really cool art exhibit cool. of just yeah. like. Featuring all the characters that Mark Hamill voiced throughout the years. It's just a small sampling of all the skips from yeah. a regular show. Apparently, um, a lot of my friends did not know he Joker. voiced skips from regular show. Oh yeah, show. oh yeah, yeah. They were surprised. Yeah, he voiced a lot of different characters, like the Trickster. Um, he also played the Trickster in live action Flash uh, series. He was the Joker, Hobgoblin, Chucky, like. So many different things, and of course, his iconic Luke Skywalker role. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's he's an amazing talent. Yeah, it was like, it was a, 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 a lot of the artists who did this. Basically, they're fans of him, and they're like, "Hey, I want to be a part of this exhibit." Boom. And, and then, um, Melo, if you throw up uh, Designer Con O uh, nine, th- this is something that uh, I, I think. Designer kind is known for when it got started. People do one-offs. They just do one figure. Uh, this is uh, Victor's Vintage. He, uh, th- This gentleman actually came over to the Toys Little booth and traded with us, which was awesome, which is something I think that's cool to do at DesignerCon. And so this figure is called G- Gamblor, and if you can look carefully, he's filled, he's oh, clear wow, plastic, yeah, it does. filled with, with uh, dice. That's pretty rad. Yeah, that's um, really that cool. is rad. Yeah, and uh, all the arms. Weird pants. Yeah, <laughs> it's all di- <laughs> dice in there. Um, and that was the only figure he made. You know, th- there's not that's hundreds of these, cool. not thousands, there's only one. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's, it's a love letter. It's a lo- like, a lot of these guys are fans. A love letter to what they grew up with, like yeah, like you guys. Yeah. You right. guys grew mm-hmm. up with Star Wars. You guys grew up with anime, with uh, you know all this stuff, and it's your love letter to your fandoms, right? Yep, that's right. Yeah, and then you could look at the Toyzilla booth over there, which is going to be changing year by year now. But uh, there's a Designer Con Toyzilla photo. Um, it, it's getting there. So our booth was one of maybe only three that had a lot of like vintage toys. Mm-hmm. Uh, we weren't pushing our own product this year. Um, we will be though, and soon. we're gonna be talking about that really soon too. Um, actually, uh, Scott Zillner at uh, his booth did have some of um, our partners' uh, products out there. Yeah, that was <laughs> uh, Brian the Balloonist, Balloonist. I'm sorry, uh, at our booth. Which, I, that was an amazing costume. You don't see our booth that much, but that's okay. Uh, it's in the background. Um, but, uh, yeah, if you go to, uh, does this, let's see, Chibi Rama. We had uh, our first, um, let's see. Hmm, man, I'm disorganized tonight. Oh, okay. So we had uh, Chibi Rama 01 and 02. Uh, this was Scott Zillner's booth. We got in just barely uh, the first actual products on the shelf uh, from... Uh, our, our Vietnamese uh, partners, uh, and these are blind box figures, which um, you you build these little diorama sets with these little chibi figures. And uh, Scott had them on display, and it was the first time I had ever seen them. The actual product, there there they are, yeah. 
Uh, so these are like legends of Vietnam, different folk tales. Um, we had these on the show in other episode uh, as prototypes, but those are these are the actual the final product. the final product yeah. that is on store shelves, and it's got little collector cards that have beautiful art. Yeah, uh, tells a story behind um, the scene, um, and uh, yeah, I believe they're doing already very very well in Vietnamese bookstores. Um, so yeah, the the company is uh, Tochi Rama. Um, I, I'm very proud to be part of this company now, and the. The figures we're going to be making, we kind of announced at the show. Um, and so, let's see, if you, if you will, Mello, there is a photo, uh, Dr. Stone. Uh, so, we, we were working with Crunchyroll, uh, which is the largest, like, U.S. distributor of anime. Um, and we, we took their lead. They were pushing very heavily at Anime Expo this series called Dr. Stone, which is really revolutionary. <clears throat> and we'll talk. We'll t do another episode where we talk more about it. But we were uh, telling people, basically announcing we are planning to do Doctor Stone Chibiramas. So <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, I have actually a bag here. This is the bag I was like wearing during the show. Again, this is a bold face bag. Oh, wow. oh wait, part of it's green. green. Part I'm of sorry. Green. It's all good. Uh, but this was just saying we are doing Dr. Stone Chibiramas. There's no one else in the world doing Dr. Stone toys right now, even in Japan. Uh, so we're like, we're gonna be the first. Uh, sadly, no one at DesignerCon knew what Dr. Stone was, but that didn't really matter. They still loved, there, there you go, some of the images of Dr. Stone. So basically, it, they're reinventing science in this new stone world uh, where everyone's been turned to stone and petrified for, for thousands of years. And this genius uh, kid, uh, Senku, is, is basically reinventing the light bulb, uh, you know, communication, everything. Um, and so uh, th those are some of the first images we have of the little Chibiramas uh, we'll be launching. Um, and it's going to be a Kickstarter campaign that's going to launch um, early next year. Very so cool. we're getting ready for that. <laughs> uh, okay, we are getting down to the time. Uh, but until before we get down there, uh, let's play some, uh, let's play a game. Guys, mm. up, you guys oh, up for a game? All right, sure. It's uh, right. New, our new toy news, and uh, with someone when I ask you how much you think it is, kind of like the Price is Right. Okay. All right. But uh, first they, they, one, they yeah. thought we were gonna make them eat some of these vinyl toys. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, that the, kind of game. Uh, no. The first one, there's no pricing <laughs> on, but uh, can you put up the producer model? Can you put up the Baby Yoda uh, stuff? Yeah. Got, I said before, a lot of oh. people are asking, asking for Baby Yoda merch. They're finally pushing it out. Some, of them, some I will admit, they look kind of cheap, but they are they're basically pushing it out as soon as they can. Yeah, are these bootlegs are. Forget the t-shirts, a plush. A plush. Yeah, we want a plush. I I need a plush. All right. <laughs> but yeah, they've got a t-shirt and mug. They're from um, Box Lunch and mm. Amazon. Mm. Yes, yeah. nice. Yeah, and then uh, next one is, uh, can you put up the, okay, first of all, next one, can you put up a spoiler warning? This Okay, for folks who have uh, not seen The Mandalorian, you might want to avert your eyes for just a few seconds. Mr. Bell, can you put the spoiler warning so I don't get yelled at? I guess we don't have Okay, too late. <laughs> too late. Too late. Too late. Too bad. All right. What? Well, this is the Dude, Heavy is Infantry Mandalorian from the third episode. Of the, uh, the Mandalorian wow. from wow. the Black this Series. Is, yeah, the way. yeah, this is Ooh. the way, guys. His name in the series is uh, Pez Vizsla. Pez, like Pez, Pez Dispenser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so no. I'm, we're we're guessing oh, he has, a, but since the last name is Vizsla, we're guessing he has ties to pre Vizsla from okay. the Clone War series. Mm -hmm. But uh, guess how much this one is going to cost you? It's a Black Series. Black Series, black series exclusive to uh, Best Buy. Okay, well, they might charge a little bit more. Uh, it's a pretty I, I'm beefy say figure. It's a beefy figure. Yeah, it's a beefy figure. I, I'll still go with like thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. No, I'm gonna yeah. go. I'm probably go about forty. 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 Yeah, forty, 40? bucks. That was, gonna, that was gonna be mine. <laughs> um, let's see. I'll go in between thirty-five. Thirty-five. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh huh. Right now, uh, I think they're all sold out, but they are taking more pre-orders, which will be released in December on the Best Buy site. Mm. And um, I'm pretty sure David here is going to probably end up ordering a bunch. I am going to do my best. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to stay on that Star Wars uh, hype. 
because next one is can you put up the Ray image. Yep, Ooh, it's a Star nice. Wars okay. Force Awakens Ray figure from Kotobukaya. It's a uh, ten point five inches tall and comes with a theme base and staff. It's a really good looking figure. Okay. Uh, it's going to be released on April twenty twenty. Okay, mm. I, I'm just going to go with the standard Kotobukaya price, which is eighty bucks. Eighty bucks. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. Eighty-five. On that one. <laughs> yeah. Now I know some of these figures do get pretty pricey. Um, I don't know if with Kudabiki, but I'm gonna go a bit higher. I'm probably gonna go about maybe one ten. One ten. Michael, you are the winner on that. That's a hundred and thirty-seven oh, bucks. Oh, yep. nice, yep. nice. Those yep. things don't come cheap. Uh, 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 uh. All right, next one. Can you put up uh, the Batman statue, the figure? Yeah, this is uh, the one twelve. Collective Batman Supreme Night Figure from Mezzo. Uh, it's a previews exclusive featuring the black gray costume of Batman. It comes with uh, three different face plates, uh, multiple different hands, weapons, and a figure stand. Set to be released on May of 2020. You guys want to mm. guess how much this one is? Okay, I, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, 90 bucks. 90 bucks? I'm going to go with 120. 120? Yeah. I'll go low end this time and go 80. 80? Michael, you are on fire. Damn. Wow. $85. Nice. Yeah, nice. $85. All right. Next one's the last one. Uh, the It's a Carnage image. Yep. Ooh. It's Maximum Carnage from M-A-F-E-X. Mafex. 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 From Midicom. It's six inches tall. Comes with multiple interchangeable heads. Two different faces, one of them being uh, the Cletus Cass- Cassidy face, um, his human alter ego, and a bunch of uh, detachable tendrils set to release on July of 2020. Well, I just want to guess how much this one is. Mm, okay. I, I'm going to go with the, uh, the 85. 85? That worked out. Sorry. <laughs> I'll go a little lower. I'll probably do 75 on 75? that one. <clears throat> it's posable and everything, right? Yep. 55. 55. Miguel, you are the winner. $72. Oh, sweet. $72. <laughs> there we go. That's our new toy news. And so, uh, as. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it did. Yeah. I think so, but. Oh, I didn't touch anything. <laughs> <laughs> Don't blame me. All right, I'll just take this one real quick. Huh? It's back on? Oh, you don't mind? It's back okay. on. Well, uh, speaking, so, speaking of the, uh, the, the figures, uh, we, they had a couple of cool oh, okay. exclusives at uh, Decon. Uh, this is a 112 uh, Lone Roach and Grub, you know, like kind of spinning off mm-hmm. on uh, Lone Wolf and Cub, which... Or uh, the Mandalorian. Or the Mandalorian, I guess. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, they had some very cool ones at, at the show. And, um, you know, you look for these. If you go to other conventions, they do like kind of spin-offs. Mezco does a really good job with mm-hmm. these. Um, but anyway, yeah, go, go ahead. So, wrap yep, wrapping up. Uh, so, uh, we're, like I said, once again, can you uh, let our audience know where we could find uh, BB Create next? Yeah, so uh, BB Create will be next. Uh, a smaller show that we'll be doing uh, will be out in uh, Vegas. So, we're going to be out at First Fridays on December 7th. I believe that's the first mm-hmm. Friday there. Or no, f- December 6th, I believe. And then the next one would be a holiday show up in Upland. Um, on uh, December 21st, but then the our pop biggest up show, show, a right? pop-up yeah. show, but the bigger show is going to be Level Up in uh, February. But you could always uh, follow us on Instagram, at BBCreate, so B-B-C-R-E-8, and you'll find all our information. We're always posting new stuff up there and when our tour dates are going to be, since we try to go everywhere uh, as much as we can. Awesome. Very yeah. cool. Very yeah. cool. And uh, do you guys have any uh, other social, like, personal social medias you guys want to plug or anything? I mean, um, Mike? Um, not at the moment. Yeah, not at the moment. Just we usually <laughs> ma- mainly use create. Instagram or, or cool. BB Create on on Twitter or Facebook. Our, our page is just a three uh, three ones that we usually uh, mainly use to plug anything that we're we're going through and and uh, and we also have our website bbcreate.com, dot uh, and you can just go ahead and shop. And tomorrow the website will be down just because we're going to be uh, revamping the whole thing for our sale, and then exactly at midnight. So when Thanksgiving becomes Thanksgiving at midnight at uh, 12, 12 a.m. PST. Um, our site goes live with our whole new format with all these pr- different pricing and deep discounts. Very cool, very mm. cool. So, yeah, you know, it's going to be, it's always one of our biggest, it's actually the biggest sell that we usually do. Mm-hmm. And everyone usually goes really, like, you know, bananas on there. So, 
you know, hopefully they, they find some good yep. gifts and good deals. So uh, stay by yeah. your computers and uh, <laughs> just pretend it's you're trying to get Comic Con badges. <laughs> oh, okay. Th things do good. sell out, right? Things do oh, sell yeah. out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, stuff we just showed today. Yeah, it's we'll be sell, out. sell out we'll for sure. Out. I would not yeah. be surprised for sure. Same, right, uh, same thing actually at Toyzilla because uh, we well we're actually celebrating our two year anniversary uh, this coming Saturday. Uh, so the 30th, we are having our biggest sale ever in the store. We're going to be closed on Thanksgiving, not opening up crazy early. We, we learned our lesson <laughs> last year. It was like dead. Uh, but we are going to be open uh, Saturday. The big, big sales are going to be like half off. A lot of stuff. Everything else is 20% off. Uh, and, and people have been keeping their eye on certain I'm things. I'm coming, man. And, and this is like, we only have like, say, one of certain items. So it's, it's like, yeah, you're going to be... Make a beeline for whatever it is you want. One offs. <laughs> the one offs, yeah. And just like, okay, how much? Mine. Um, uh, what's our <laughs> other events? Because uh, I know we also do a, uh, that, uh, what do you call it? Uh, that, that parking lot event. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, yes. We're, uh, okay, so that's coming in December. Uh, so December 21st is our last uh, Toys L Us Swap Meet of the year uh, and last Swap Meet in this location. Uh, but it, that's a really big one. Uh, Fingers crossed it doesn't rain, but <laughs> it's outside in the parking lot, and it's, it's just people bring great stuff and sell it really cheap, so you and definitely if, don't want to uh, miss that. you don't buy it, David's going to buy it all. I usually I spend a <laughs> lot of money that day. I, I'm always out yeah, You don't make stuff. money at your own events. <laughs> no, I, I do not, you know, but it's all good. I, have, I get amazing stuff that I can't find anywhere else, so I'm, like, happy. I'm still happy. Uh, I mean, there's toy designers, uh, like, like our friend Steve, who sells, you know, one-of-a-kind stuff mm -hmm. that you, you just won't find, you know. Um, and, and then I should give a shout-out to uh, December 1st is the uh, SoCal Joe Show, yep. uh, which we'll be at as well. Mm -hmm. um, so we're really excited for that. And it's more than just G.I. Joe, so if you don't like G.I. Joe, still go to it because there's a whole lot of everything I'm else. I'm pretty sure is going to be a bunch of Transformers there. Oh, uh, Of course. Well, they, there, is, there is a Transformers and a G.I. Joe uh, crossover. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same universe, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know. And uh, also, uh, Nerdbot, we are going to be hosting a New Year's Eve event, if uh, mm. Professor Melika posts up the graphic. There we go. Ooh, the Gotham oh, Gatsby. Wow. It's going to be uh, bringing the Roy Roaring Twenties in your best Batman outfit. Every ticket gets a free unlimited game card, only $15. It's a uh, free and easy parking, private event, nerd karaoke, live music, drink special, and gaming. It's in uh, Arcadia, California, and starts at 8 p.m. Wow, unlimited. So, yeah, unlimited. Unlimited power. Yeah, yeah. great. <laughs> unlimited power. There you go. Exactly. Exactly. I'm, see, I, I plug my friends. I Thank plug you. my friends. Oh, yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. And also, um, we, the announced states, the, what, they made an announcement for Anime Pasadena. Oh, yeah. We're going to beat that. Yep. That's the best. If, uh, I love it. Do, do we have an image for that? Oh, we do not have an image anime, for uh, producer. You, you need anime to go Pasadena. to Anime Pasadena. It is the best yeah. kept secret good, for really reals. It's such a great show. I, uh, I forgot the dates for it because I don't remember off the top of my head, but I do know if you go to a Nerdbot page, you can find the info there or check out Nerdbot news videos that uh, we've been releasing. At the end of the video, we have a little flyer there. And uh, the most recent one is featuring yours truly ranting about how there is... Ten apparently no Star material. Wars. No source material for Star Wars. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we have a lot of cool events coming on, and we're also going to be uh, Toyzilla is also going to be at, I believe, uh, Anime LA. LA, as well. yes, very LA excited LA for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's going to be great. There we go, January 9th to the 12th. Our, our booth is going to be right by all the the voice actors who are like signing. So, yeah. and cool. uh, so anyway, uh, where can we find you, uh, David? Uh, you'll find me right here each and every day almost at Toyzilla and online at Toyzilla Store on Instagram and Facebook. Mm -hmm. And uh, can we get the, the social media info for BB Create again? Uh, so it'll be at BB Create, at BBCRE8 on Instagram, uh, also on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, it's just facebook.com forward slash BB Create. Um, and our website would be www.bbcreate.com. And uh, yeah. And you can find me all over the interwebs, such as my uh, Facebook page. It's kind of my hub. It's facebook.com slash Michael Powell does stuff because, well, <laughs> I do a lot of stuff. <laughs> no, seriously, I do a lot of stuff. Yeah, he does. <laughs> and um, you can also find me on my Twitch channel, my Instagram, my Twitter, 
all at Mr. Kapow. That's M-R-K-A-P-A-O. And I'm also the editor-in-chief of Suit Up Geek Out. And I'm also working on a project on Facebook called Aesthetic Retro. If you could go there and give it a like, that would be great. And let's see what else. Um, oh, and after this, I will be on the episode of Blank Slate on Twitch. Uh, playing a, basically what chat calls me, Low Rent Jafar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that should be fun. But until next time, be good. Be great. Be Awesome.